Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a chatty get ready. I haven't filmed a video in like two weeks and I already feel out of breath. If you guys follow me on social media, you guys know that I've been sick for a week. I was in, I filmed my January favorites like the day before I left to California and then I was in California for a full week. I was there for Generation Beauty and the very next day, like the day that I got up to get on the plane, I woke up with like a really nasty cold. And today was finally the day that I was like, okay, wow, I have enough energy to film. I'm feeling much better, so I'm going to sit down and film. I'm doing a chatty get ready because even though I felt better, like I'm still a little bit out of breath. I didn't want to do like a full on glam, like a uh, makeup tutorial. I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys. I feel like I don't do these a lot just because they're so long like I know this video is so long and it hasn't even started let me know in the comments if you like these kinds of videos and then I'll do them more often so I wanted to try out new products in today's video like a lot of these products I've never tried on my face before like I've never used them on my skin some of them I've used already but most of them I've never tried so I'm really excited and a lot of these products are drugstore most of it is drugstore so I'm just gonna take the hair out of my face I lost my original little ear thingies they were like little hearts. I lost them. I don't know where they went. So I'm just using these. These are super tight on my head. I have a big arse head. By the way, I told you guys that I was going to do like a really big drugstore review of all the new products I've bought in the past couple months. And I am still going to do that. But I did buy some newer drugstore products, which I'm going to use today. Ah, the lighting. The clouds are in and out. Excuse me. So I'm going to wait another week and a half before I film that video just so that I can use the products a little bit more and give you like a better review. But I am still gonna do like a huge drugstore update review. So, I have two new primer sprays. I'm so excited. Showed you guys on Snapchat, but I bought these at Ulta. This one is from NYX and this one is from Physicians Formula. And I don't know which one I'm gonna use. This is the NYX First Base Primer Spray and this is the Physicians Formula Primer Argan Wear Argan Oil with Coconut Water Primer. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to use the Physicians Formula one just because I'm going to use this Milani foundation. And this Milani foundation, when I pumped it on the back of my hand, is thick. And I'm scared that this is going to be cakey for my dry skin. So maybe this will help. I'm going to use this. I'm just going to spray this on my face. Let's see. I've never tried this. Oh. oh I really... Doesn't taste bad. Doesn't taste bad. I really like the spray on this. I had a feeling it was just gonna be like chick, chick, and like oily, but it's not. So I'm just gonna let that set. Let me feel. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice. It doesn't feel greasy or oily at all for it being argan oil. Oh my gosh, this feels really nice. Okay. I don't know if it's gonna prolong my makeup. Probably not. Did you see that fly that just tried to kill me? Okay, so I'm still gonna put down like a primer type of product. And I just bought this at Ulta as well. This is the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. So you guys know, I was born to glow. I've never tried this before, by the way. So I'm just applying this. This kind of reminds me of the MAC Strobe Cream. It has like that same pearly finish. Maybe not as pearly. Oh my gosh, this feels really nice though. Okay, so I'm gonna be using the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Beige. This is too dark for me. So I'm gonna mix it with this. This was a recommendation from one of you guys. I love buying things that you guys tell me to buy. I love it. So I got this off of Amazon. I had never heard of it before, before a subscriber told me about it. This is the Manic Panic uh, Dream Tone Vegan Flawless Foundation and Color Corrector. This is basically like the Manic Panic Foundation. I didn't even know Manic Panic Made Foundation. I thought they just made hair dyes. But this is their white foundation. In the back it just says virgin. It says whitest white. You just add this to your foundation to make it lighter. And I have this. This is the Body Shop Lightning Shade Adjusting Drops. And although I do like this, I find that it changes the texture of my foundation. Which sucks because then I can't get the most out of the foundation because it like alters the consistency. I know a lot of people love it and a lot of people say it doesn't, but I find that it does change the consistency. And I haven't used this yet on my face, but I do like how it feels on the back of my hand. It just feels like it's just like a creamy product that isn't gonna change like my opinion on the foundation. So anyway, I'm just gonna pump out a pump of this. I love the packaging, it's in a glass bottle and I love that it has a pump. So I'm just gonna do like one pump on the back of my hand. 
and you guys can see how thick this is. This is so thick, it's not even running so thick. I'm a little afraid, I'm a little afraid. And then I'm gonna do just like a little bit of the white, just a little bit. I'm gonna blend that with the finger. I'm just gonna pop it on my face. Maybe I should have added a little bit more white. It's all right, we shall see. But it did lighten it a lot, so. I don't know how much of this um, I need of this foundation. It's so thick, I'm so scared. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna blend that in with my pure sponge. I got a lot of questions about this in one of my recent videos. This is a sponge from the brand Pure Cosmetics, but you can only get it if you buy like their contour stick. And to be completely honest, I don't like their contouring stick. I gave mine away, but I love this freaking sponge. So please, Pure, please put this to where you can buy it without the, the contour sticks, please, because it's such a great sponge. Oh, oh my gosh, I'm talking way too much. This is ridiculous. Okay, I wanted to tell you guys this. I tweeted about how I bought this new beauty blender type thing from the brand Lush Minerals. I kept the box so I can show you. And it was a $10 sponge. It had amazing reviews on the Amazon website. Like, people were raving about it. Let me show you what it looked like when I washed it. Look at this. Like, this is terrible. It just... It doesn't even bounce back. I don't know how people loved this. It was, ugh, I cannot use that. So that was my opinion on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it in. I'm just gonna spray my Ultra Radiance a little bit. It's already wet, but I'm just gonna spray it a little bit just to make it a little bit more wetty. Yeah, I could have used maybe like another drop of that white foundation. It's okay, we tried to fix it with concealer. Okay, um, not bad. I thought it was going to look a little bit cakey, but like around my nose, it's not really caking up that much. Um, all foundations pretty much cake around my nose. I feel like no matter what I do to hydrate around my nose, my the area around my nose is the driest. And no matter what foundations cake, the only foundation that 100% does not cake up around my nose is the Makeup Forever Face and Body. Holy Grail Foundation, the best foundation I've ever used. That is the only one that doesn't do that. But, I mean, I'm used to it. Most foundations do. But this blends really, really nicely into the skin. And it was like sitting on my face for a while. I was scared that it was going to be one of those foundations, like the Revlon Color Stay, where you have to blend it in immediately. <coughs> okay, that blended in so easily. Wow, I really like this foundation. I mean, I don't know how long it lasts, but it, I feel like it gave me full coverage. It was easy to blend. Even though it was thick, it doesn't look cakey. Oh, and it, I mean, it's a little bit tacky actually. But wow, it looks really pretty. I would say this is like a satin finish. And I used an illuminating primer and an argan oil spray. So I can imagine this is probably like a matte foundation. But since I used those products underneath, it's giving me like a nice satin finish. Okay, so now I'm gonna do concealer. I just recently bought this at Ulta as well. This is the Physicians Formula BB Concealer Argan Wear. It's like giving me Aladdin vibes like hardcore. I got mine in the shade light medium. It's too dark for underneath the eyes, so I'm gonna mix it with my Wet n Wild highlighting and concealing pen in Ivory Into You. I love the name of that. So this is really strange. It comes in like a little spongy thing, which I'm not a fan of. It's like weird. Never used this product before either. So I'm gonna use the sponge to kind of like drag it down. feels very light, like it's gonna have light coverage. I don't know how I feel about this. This sponge soaks up so much of the product. It's not like the Maybelline sponge on their concealer, like the, I don't know, ah, ah. We shall see when I blend it out though. It feels very lightweight. Now I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild highlighting pen and drag it down. I love this little highlighting pen so much and so cheap. Then I'm gonna blend it in with this side of the sponge. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that this Argan concealer is very, very hydrating. And I can tell it has like the Argan oil in it because my under eyes like look wet. Okay, so I'm gonna set that immediately because I feel like this is gonna be a creasy mess. I'm gonna take my Morphe E48 brush and my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna set 
me face. I'm also gonna set the rest of my face because this foundation is already getting into like my forehead lines and here especially foundation always creases in like my smile lines. So I am gonna set the rest of my face because this foundation is tacky. Like I feel it on my, not that I feel it on my face, but when I touch my face, it's tacky. So product probably will not blend easily on top unless I set it. I'm gonna use a bigger brush, what the heck. I'm gonna use my Too Faced Mr. Right Perfect powder brush. Oh my gosh, this brush, guys. Guys, guys. This brush is everything. Oh, everything. Okay, so first impressions, not a huge fan of this. So I'm gonna contour my face, and I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Makeup Geek released her new um, contour powders. I'm so excited. They are bigger than the Anastasia contour powders, and they're cheaper. I don't know, I'm very excited. So I have all the cool shades up on top and then the warmer shades down at the bottom. And I prefer, prefer, I prefer a more neutral contour powder because I just feel like if I go a little bit too ashy with my contour, it just looks like I rubbed dirt on my face. Super cool tone colors don't look good on me. I'm actually gonna take a combination. I've never used these before. I'm gonna take this brush right here. This is the Luxie 542 Flat Contour Brush. And I'm gonna, I've never used this brush before either. <laughs> I'm gonna take these first two colors and I'm gonna mix them. Breakup, which is cool pores. Can I speak? Cool por por porcelain. And then I'm taking Love Triangle, which is warm porcelain. And wish me luck. Oh. Well, hello, Mega Week. Thanks. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the warm one and add it on top. Right off the bat, first impressions, these are easy to blend. Very easy to blend. And I definitely like the combination of the cool shade and the warm shade together. Oh my god, that looks so crazy on camera. Doesn't look like that in person. You need a very light hand. Definitely tap off the excess product. But my gosh, these are so pigmented and so easy to blend. Very buttery. The lighting is really weird in this video because most of my light is coming from here. This is like my natural light and like my artificial light is coming from here. So this side of my contour looks so strange, but bear with me. I'm still trying to work out my lighting situation. So I'm using a little bit of the cool, por cool porcelain. I feel like I say that weird. I'm using a little bit of the cool porcelain, but mainly dipping into the warm porcelain. I feel like it's more flattering for my skin tone. Okay, so now I really want to bronze up my skin, and I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited to use this bronzer. You guys have no idea. This is brand new. I just bought it at Ulta. This is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. The packaging is my favorite Physicians Formula packaging I've ever seen in my entire life. I love this, like, I love this color. I like it, the green. So what's really cool about this is that it is made with... Muru Muru butter. I don't know what butter that is, but it's like some Brazilian butter. I don't know But this smells my nose is st stuffy at the moment, but I can still smell it This smells like a pina colada. This smells so good the best smelling bronzer ever and I'm pretty sure it only comes in one shade I hope this is permanent. Let me use it first. Let me see if I like it. Oh My god, I love it. I love it I like it because it's like a neutral color. As you can see, there's not a lot of warmth in it, but it's not like a gray bronzer. But it has a little bit of a sheen. Not a sheen, don't get scared. It has a little bit of a natural glow to it, so it's not like chalky or anything. By the way, this is the Wet n Wild brush. I don't know what it's called because the name was on the packaging and I threw that away, of course. They're seriously probably the best at the drugstore and they are the cheapest, I'm sure. I feel like my contour on this side looks a little bit choppy right here. And I don't know why, because on this side it looks fine. Hmm. I don't, I don't think I like this that much. I think it gave me like a weird, harsh, choppy contour. My face smells like a pina colada. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight my face first before I put on my blush. And this isn't a new product. I've been using it nonstop. I love this so much. It's quickly become one of my favorites. This is the Pure... Um, Afterglow Illuminating Powder. I bought this off of Amazon. I could have bought it off the Pure website, but 
My friend Laura raves about this. She says it's her favorite bronzer highlight and I had to get it because she raves about it. I'm using a Zoeva Lux Face Focus 114. That is beautiful. I love it because it's gold without being gold. My lighting. My freaking lighting. Okay, so I'm going to go in with blush now. I'm going to use my Laura Geller Blush and Brighten Blush in Pink Grapefruit. This is what it looks like. It's really similar to MAC um, Warm Soul, but a little bit more rosy. Tap it off. I used the 514 to put my blush from Luxie. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes. I don't know if you could tell, like this side of my face looks weird. This side of my face looks a little bit more structured. Like things are like oddly blended here. I'm a little bit confused. But we're gonna move on. So I've already kind of like primed my eyelids with concealer. But I'm gonna further prime with the NYX Glitter Primer, and I know that this is like for glitter. I really wanna test it out, and I wanna see if like the eyeshadows stick to this better. So I've never used this before, and I'm really excited. Feels nice and sticky. By the way, I wanna thank you guys, um, whoever I met at Generation Beauty. Seriously, it was amazing to meet everyone. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice. Even like, there was like security in the back and they were telling me like, wow, you have the nicest subscribers ever. And I was like, I know, they're the best people ever. This is so sticky, crapola. Probably wasn't a good idea to like use this as a primer. Apparently none of my screws are screwed in today. So I'm just gonna set that with powder. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl True Naked Goldens palette. But most of these colors are shimmery. I've never used these on my eyes. So for like crease work and all that good stuff, I'm going to just dip into the Makeup Geek Contour Powders. So I actually don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm just going along. I'm taking my Morphe MB23, and I'm going to dip it into this cool, uh, warm porcelain. There was this uh, one person I met at Gen Beauty who made me laugh so hard. Like, um, She came up to me, and she was like, before I take a picture with you, before I say hi to you, I want to thank your husband for his service. And like Danny was sitting there and he, she was like, thank you so much, Danny. She's like, I wanted to do that before I hugged you because he's more important than you. And I was cracking up and I was like, oh, you're so right. I found it like so inspiring that she like thanked him for his service. It was so sweet. She was so nice. If you're watching, hello, how are you? I loved you. Thank you for saying hi. You guys were so nice. And your makeup, like everybody's makeup was so amazing. And everybody was coming up to me with like these intense wings and like these beautiful smoky eyes and I was like oh my gosh I look like crap next to these women and guys there were a few guys there so thank you guys for coming out to see me it meant the world to me I'm gonna take my uh, Sigma E25 and I'm gonna dip it into the half-hearted warm medium contour I'm going to take Bad Habit, which is warm, fair, underneath my lower lashes. By the way, I would just normally use like brown eyeshadows, but I have them put away and this was like sitting right here, so I'm using it. This is a Zoeva Lux Pencil 230. Love this brush. So, because I was sick and like vegetating in my bed, um, the direct TV people haven't come yet, so I don't have like actual TV. I've just been watching Hulu and Netflix and I had nothing to watch. I was like all caught up on my shows, nothing to watch. So I just started watching, um, Jane the Virgin and I didn't think I was going to like it. I don't really like, like, I don't, I don't know. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I actually like it. I think it's pretty funny and I feel like I can relate so much because it's like a Mexican family. It's about like her Mexican family and her abuela and all that. And even though I'm not Mexican, um, I could so relate. Like I feel like it's such a funny like Hispanic show. I mean, even if you're not Hispanic, I think it's pretty funny. And I don't know. It's the narrator cracks me up. I don't know. I think it's I think it's cute. It's a cute show. 
think I'm gonna take this color right here. It's like this really pretty olive color, and I'm gonna put that on my entire lid. Hopefully this comes out olive on my lid and not like caca brown. Oh, <laughs> I'm impressed so far. Oh my gosh, that's coming out so beautiful. I don't know if it comes out on camera, but it has a really pretty olive -y sheen. I have to be completely honest, I'm not like a big CoverGirl fan. I think it's one of my least favorite drugstore uh, brands. But this palette, so far, is impressing me way more than the freaking Revlon one or the uh, Maybelline one. I think I like, I mean, I've only used one shadow, but I do love the Milani one, and that one is probably hard to beat. I love the Milani palettes, all of them. I'm gonna take this Zoeva um, 224 brush, and I'm just gonna buff that out. I wonder how this would work wet, like how these would work wet, so I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna spray MAC Fix Plus, this is my coconut one. I've purchased like 75 of these when the coconut one came out. Yep, and I'm gonna dip it into the eyeshadow, but up here at the top because I don't know how this works wet and I don't wanna like mess up the eyeshadow. Man, I'm getting a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow, which is why I always do my eyeshadow first because it avoids all the fallout. I mean, you still get the fallout, but you don't have foundation on, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so adding Fix Plus just added a little bit more intensity, adding a little bit more of the really light warm contour okay to highlight underneath my brow bow and I'm gonna take this like vanilla shade up here at the front and then to highlight my inner corners I'm gonna take this gold shade right here oh they have names on them I'm gonna take sunkissed <laughs> that's the gold shade That's beautiful. Oh my girl, that's beautiful. And I want to make it a little bit like lighter, so I'm going to take this one, even though this looks like super glittery. Let me see. This looks super. Mm, I don't like this shade. I don't like this shade. Nope. So I'm going to take my pure highlight and I'm going to add some more, but that gold shade I put in my inner corners would be beautiful all over the lid. With my Morphe E17, I'm gonna add a little bit of this chocolate shade on the outer corners, just a little bit of this. I'm gonna add some eyeliner to my waterline. This is like my favorite eyeliner of all time. I've gone through three full eyeliners of these and that's, no, four? No, 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 like three of these, this is the best. This is MAC Costa Riche Eye Coal. This is amazing for green or hazel eyes. I mean, anybody can use it, but you know what I mean? Oh, I gotta sharpen this. Oh, we'll try. Nope, I gotta sharpen it. I don't know if you can tell, it just makes, you can't tell, but it makes green eyes pop so much. Especially if you have hazel eyes and you have like a little bit of green in your eyes and you wanna emphasize the green, MAC Costa Riche, best eyeliner ever. This is the first eyeliner I ever, ever, ever purchased when I walked into MAC when I was like uh, 16, because all I wore when I was younger was eyeliner. And the girl was like, you need Costa Riche, it's gonna help like make your eyes look greener. And she was right ever since that day. Thank you, girl at MAC. And then I'm gonna take this bronzy shade right here. This is called Ginger. And I'm gonna blend a little bit of that underneath my lower lashes. After that, I'm gonna take uh, the chocolatey color called Sierra, and I'm gonna put this only on the outer parts of my eyes here. I'm so sorry this video is so long, but just in case you're getting ready, you're going out tonight, getting ready for school, maybe I can keep you company for 45 minutes. Okay, so I'm just gonna curl my lashes. We are done with the eyes. Uh, these are the Tweezerman eyelash curlers. I bought these on Sephora because I saw so many good reviews and I have to say I think I like these more than my Shuomura eyelash curlers. So I'm gonna try out a new mascara today. This is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. 
and you know me, especially today, I'm skipping the falsies. I get comments all the time like, I really wish you would wear falsies in all your tutorials. Like, do they just look so much better? Like, come on, like, you know, like work a little harder, try a little more. And I don't skip falsies because I'm lazy. Sometimes, sometimes. I skip falsies because I just prefer to skip falsies. I don't think, for me, please do not get offended, for me, it's not realistic for me to slap on falsies every single day. This is nice, but this isn't cutting it for me. I'm gonna go back to my trusty Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara, my favorite mascara at the moment. So that's why I don't wear falsies in all my tutorials. I do use falsies in some of them, um, but not all of them. I love this mascara. I'm gonna show you guys something. When your lashes get so clumpy, this is amazing. Don't stab yourself, you will hurt yourself. This is the Morphe B71. And I just comb out. And there, my clumps are gone. It's amazing, this little comb. For my lower lashes, I'm using the MAC Extended Clay Giga Black Lash. Those ears were severely hurting my head. They gave me like a little dent right here. <laughs> okay, so we are pretty much done with the face. Just gonna go ahead and pop on my lip color. This is the Sephora Rouge Gel Lip Liner in the shade The Nudist. This is kind of like a purple nude. And it kind of makes me look dead, but I really like it with the olive. And then I'm gonna pop this on top, which kind of like subdues the deadness a little bit. This is my favorite gloss of all time, Buxom's White Russian. Okay guys, so that completes this video. I hope you enjoyed all 50 minutes of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the well wishes. I feel so much better. You guys are amazing. I love you so much. And yeah, I think that's it. That's it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.